Welcome to another episode of You Guys Are Enabling My Crippling Addiction to Buying Shitty B-Movies. And today is no exception. I got my package from the Severn Cell. Now what does that mean? It means I'm in Canada and it's like 30 US dollars to ship from the Severn website. So I just went to Deep Discount and got that shit for like 10 US dollars shipping. Uh, motherfuckers without third, further ado let's get into this unboxing now i'm gonna take this off because that's my bill for 26 bucks fucking import fees let's see and it's the first time ordering from deep discount the only thing i knew from deep discount is they sponsor a lot of like podcasts and earth aware silt air can i can i Well, that wasn't satisfying. All right, so like always, I don't remember what I buy because I buy too goddamn many movies. Not good, this paper. So let's start off with a Primitive, which is a very, very unknown, um, kind of obscure uh, jungle cannibal film yeah, and you guys know I love me some sorry I got some fucking paper on my tongue and you guys know I love me some goddamn Italian cannibal films and this is a directed by Sisward Gotama Putra so this might not be Italian because this this doesn't sound like uh, oh Indonesia okay so this isn't a, an Italian cannibal film, this is just a cannibal film from Indonesia, I guess. So that's pretty fucking badass, because I would, I, I wanted to discover more um, international cannibal flicks, and this is one of them. So uh, as always, a pretty cool black case there from Severin. Oh yeah, this one, this one I remember. Now this is Fulci for fake. Uh, you guys know I'm a big, big Fulci fan, fan, like I'm the biggest Fulci simp ever. I would dig up his course, corpse, and yeah, you guys know. You are gay. Oh, a case blue, so this is an older release. Drive-In Massacre. Now, uh, my good friend Grindhouse Funhouse has a shirt of this, and I almost bought it, but instead I went with the 42nd Street one. And if, uh, if I do enjoy this movie, and uh, I have some extra money, I might be thinking of uh, buying that shirt. But this is one that you always see on trailer compilations. Uh, you guys know I love these. So uh, it's like a 70s, very sleazy, um, grindhouse classic, exploitation film classic. So uh, yeah, it looks looks pretty cool and it looks pretty low budget. And uh, I, the, tr the trailer, like I said, is classic, so I only know it from. Oh yeah, more. by the way, this is also a DVD update. And uh, I have a lot of uh, Franco in this one. So, uh, The Hot Nights of Linda. Now this is a really old release, like when they used to do this Blu-ray DVD combo, which I think I have one of those right here, The House on Straw Hill. This was my first Severin ever that I bought in like 2015. Shit, when did this come out? 2013, so around 2014, 2015. And like, I, I honestly, I like the style of packaging. And uh, by the way, this movie is fucking great. Plus it came with a documentary on Video Nasties. Should probably make a review for this one. Anyways, this is an older um, release. Uh, 2013 exactly and it's a uh, Franco now recently they've been getting into a lot of Franco but uh, this one is like I said older and it looks pretty uh, Lina Romay of course um, stars and uh, Alice Arnaud from Justine de Sade now pretty intriguing film Ah, yes, more cannibals. Yes, yes, yes. You guys know I love me some cannibal films. I am a depraved individual with mental issues. So I do love my cannibal films. This is an Italian one, is it? I don't even know. It's directed by Michael E. Lemick. Uh, uncut and remastered in uh, 4K for the first time ever in America. So I guess, I guess it is uh, Brazil. I don't know. I don't know where it's from. Uh, I'll, 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 oh, okay, it stars Michael Sabvik, the guy from Blast Fighter and uh, other films. 
killer fish yeah killer fish that's so uh yeah another one of those a uh, jungle cannibal flicks pretty excited about it i do love Ooh, now this is a cool release now this one was expensive this is emmanuel and francois oh now is this a joe demato so this is a laura gemser joint and uh oh yeah it was on the wrong side stars george eastman of course uh where oh screenplay by bruno Mattei and directed by joe diamato you guys know it's gonna be some sleazy shit manuel et francois so this cover oh this cover is good man this release looks good that's the Severin order from Deep Discount. Now let's get into the DVD update, cause uh, that's more badass, more Franco. This is Exorcism et Mess Noir. Now this is a possession exor exorcism a la Franco. So you know a lot of sex, a lot of nudity. And I read a review on this that made me giggle. It was a poorly written review in English that said, this movie I do not like. It has a lot of sex and violence, gore. Now it looks like that's everything. That's all people want these days. I do not like. So someone, bought a Franco film and was like, that's violent. And thought to themselves, yeah. Gutter balls, now I made an entire video on this. Go take a look, didn't get many views, but honestly, it's a movie worth watching from Unearthed Films, which I'm getting more into, guys. I'm getting more into the uh, obscure, uh, hardcore extreme horror. And then Lisa and the Devil and House of Exorcism. Now I have this movie on VHS with the title, I think, of House of Exorcism. Now it's not the same movie. There, It's a different cut and it's, uh, it's an American cut for the American market. And honestly, it's terrible. So I wanted to see Lisa and the Devil because that's more of Mario Bava's um, idea. Film. A Grindhouse releasing. Now, I don't get a lot of these because they're super expensive. I would love to own them all, but in Canada, they're like um, in between 45 and like 60 bucks. Uh, but this one I've wanted for a while because it's one of their older release. I think this came out before the release of uh, like Cannibal Holocaust. This is 008 and Cannibal Holocaust. Where is my Cannibal Holocaust? Is 011. So yeah, this came out before. Uh, so uh, it's with Peter Cushion. It's a 60s a British a sleazy grindhouse classic apparently. So can't wait to watch this. I love the cover. Beautiful women with a large breasts. And yeah, so it comes with, as always, these grindhouse releasings. Releases are always a chock full of bonuses and extra discs and I love them. Now, my bootlegs from Twisted Anger. I mentioned it uh, wrong in my last video where I talked about Lady in the Sea of Blood. But first of all, the house by the lake, also known as Death Weekend. Now, this is a pretty well known exploitation film, a rape and revenge, per se. Let's say it's like the Canadian equivalent to I Spit on Your Grave from the 70s. It's pretty sleazy, it's pretty violent. And it never it never got a legit release. Uh, now that's a crime uh, because we need more Canuck exploitation on Blu-ray and DVD. So it never really got a legit release. So this is a bootleg and apparently one of the best out there. It's actually like the quality is pretty good because they got their stocks from not just a shitty DVD or VHS. Lady in the Sea of Blood, now I made an entire video on that and uh, go watch it, it's my last video, it's a pretty interesting film, it's this experimental fetish film from Japan that's really obscure and honestly it's a, it's a, not a bad way to spend 30 minutes but there are way better ways. Muzan E. Now I want to make a video on this, this is a pretty infamous uh, Japanese uh, um, um nasty and it's about the uh, av industry and more specifically period blood av industry and uh, apparently it's pretty fucking brutal 
so uh also like twisted anger really does a good job like they're bootlegs and they put like as much effort if not more than a lot of like mainstream um um distribution companies i'm not speaking about the boutique i'm speaking more of like the universal and the uh those shitty fucking cor corporations so yeah looks pretty good and finally for today gourmet zombie chef from hell 80s gore fest really supposedly super cheesy i think it's in the same veins as like blood diner which i love blood diner so uh, it's, uh, it has cheese alert another one of the uh, really good releases from twisted anger and they won't look out of place on your dvd shelf unlike some other of my bootlegs but mostly i get bootlegs from you know reputable uh collectors uh collector sites like uh, trash palace twisted anger uh stuff like that so um that's it for today boys and girls and i hope you did enjoy this video and see you guys next time